Hey guys, this is Holly Hudspeth here with Gaming Trend, and today I'm going to give you guys a look at the new game that's going to be releasing on August 26th. It's called Ancestors, The Humankind Odyssey. Um, I've already given this game a run-through, but apparently they had a pretty big patch today uh, that changed a lot of the stuff, so I'm going to be starting a new game, which is pretty cool because I kind of felt like I didn't understand some of the stuff that I was doing in my first run-through. I put about four hours into my first game before I managed to kill my whole entire clan off. Um, so we are going to start a new game, but I need to change it to play with the keyboard. And the game recommends to play with a controller, but for some reason I cannot get it to work with my computer. This game is kind of um, like a survival evolution game. It's set, I want to say, 10,000 years in Africa, in the past in Africa. And you start off as a um, ape or monkey, and you basically just have to evolve and survive. And if your clan, all of your clan members die, game over. And that's what happened to me the last time around. So I'm hoping I can do a little bit better this time around, and we'll see what kind of new stuff they patched in. It's not looking like we can skip this, but I'll go ahead and let it play for the sake of the people that are watching this for the first time. Yeah, they're not kidding about we won't help you much. Um, I was pretty much flying blind, and I'm okay with that, but there was at one point where I thought that my game was broken because I couldn't hold items with two hands, but it turns out it was just an evolution thing that I needed to wait for. Um, so yeah, this is definitely not a hand-holding game. snake pretty early on. It actually killed my ape's mate or partner. It was pretty heartbreaking and savage.
So to start out with, you've got the uh, controls there, intelligence and senses and calling. And it basically shows you, or tries to show you, where enemies and bad guys are. Alright, so that's where my clan is going to be, and my goal is this little baby monkey that just had its mother savagely killed in front of his eyes. My goal is to get to my clan members um, without getting killed, so let's go ahead and be on our way. I've already lost where I was supposed to be going. I think it's up there. Alright, yeah, there we go. All of this weird stuff with the teeth and scary noises goes away. Um, <clears throat> you'll get a thing where if your, uh, I want to say it was adrenaline or something, gets too high or too low, you kind of get into a, a state of paranoia like this and you have to get yourself out of it. And I'm going to get myself killed. My clan is just up here. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Should be able to climb up here and get up there pretty easy. Hopefully I can make the jump without killing my monkey. If you're up too high and you try to jump and you miss the jump, you will kill your 
recurrence monkey. And you don't play as the same um, character the whole entire time. You can switch between clan members, and you can also, uh, if one dies, you get control of another one. And we made it. So when you pick up something new, you can inspect it, and eventually when we evolve a little bit more, we can turn um, this stick into a tool, and you pick up other things that you can use to use them as tools and whatnot. So the little green dot on the bottom shows your energy, stamina, and life expectancy. If you start getting attacked by stuff, or you don't eat often enough, or drink often enough, that little green dot will start turning red, and you've got to try to figure out how to get food and all that good stuff to stay alive. Right now I'm inspecting it, finding out it's water, and I can drink it. So last time I jumped on the back of um, one of the apes and rode around on it and then managed to get her killed. But um, yeah, so the thing that just popped up there with the growing neuron, it means you're learning and eventually it will open up a tree that you can select skills to um, open up and grow with, evolve with. So you can see the whole clan is drinking now. They figured it out too. So we can eat that, but it's not good for us. It gave us a broken bone somehow by eating the plant. Um, I haven't found anything outside the coconuts here in this beginning area that is actually really good for you to eat. There's some kind of berries over here, but they made me sick last time I was playing through. But we'll give it a whirl and see what happens. Okay, it looks like that one was all right. Um, if you go to sleep, you can cure that broken bone, and you can also heal yourself somehow, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Uh, I believe that there's some kind of herb or something that you get that will help you heal. I should probably take a uh, bigger clan member. That <laughs> sounds horrible saying that. I should probably take a bigger monkey and um, explore with him. Oh! 
I'm going to take control of this bigger one, because they can do a little bit more than the little guy can. In the early part of the game, it's all about just discovering all the stuff that's around you, so you can get the um, skill tree to open up, so you can eventually start using both your hands and making tools. You can also um, groom the other monkeys and form relationships with them. As you can see, you're bonding, and there's a very, very subtle sound cue in everything that you do here, whether it's opening the coconuts with the rocks, or making sticks, or grooming this guy right here. If you listen really carefully, you'll hear it, and that's when you should release the mouse button or your controller button to get the desired effect that you want. And there it is. And that one I messed up, so... I'm not sure actually if this was a male or a female. Um, let's find out. Okay, it looks like... Uh no, oh, it looks like it's two females. I just made it with another female. I don't know. Alright, this is a male. I don't know if I'm a male or not. Let's figure it out. The last time through, I didn't actually get to the mating part of it, but I know that that's a big part of survival because you have to make more um, clan members to survive, and I managed to kill more than I made, so it wasn't good. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Okay. Okay, so this is a man, or a male, and that was a female, so I potentially can mate with this guy. Let's go over here and see if they'll lay down together. Um, let's go, dude. Mm, I don't know why he's not following me. Okay, well, maybe. So you have to press and hold down the thing to sleep. And as you can see on the top there, the time starts moving much faster when you're sleeping. Um, I don't I don't know how you're gonna eventually open up the ability to mate with the other. Maybe it's just something that I have to wait to evolve for, but um, yeah. Okay, we've opened up our first evolution tree. All 
All right, looks like this is the only path we can take right now, which, uh, is to... let's see. Uh, we can gather all our clan members and have them follow us. I guess that's all we can do right now. They, they changed that UI a little bit since the last time I used it, but now we need food and some water. Last time when I was out in the rain, you'll see, yeah, see, we just got the little snowflake buff, meaning that we're cold. So you can't really stay out in the rain too long, or they'll die. But I did need to get some food and water. So this was something I really didn't figure out in my first playthrough. There's some smoke over there. Uh, it was very dangerous. There was stuff that was attacking me. I'm guessing the game is trying to get you to go over into that area, but this time around I'm going to stay back a little bit and um, learn a bit more before I start heading that way. I wasn't fully sure what the game was trying to tell me there because I was already at the waterfall area, which is where my clan was living. Oh boy. Alright.
So, I think there's a coconut tree down there, but yeah, um, eventually, hopefully pretty soon here, I will be able to unlock the ability to crack those open and eat them. I notice that your stamina and everything goes down really quickly when you are um, climbing walls versus trees. I have not figured out what this is for. I got it in my last game too. I don't know what it's used for. It's an emerald, but I'm going to take that thing down to camp with me. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but I lived, so yay. It's mostly safe up here um, where the clan is, but believe me, when you get away from that clan, everything wants to kill you. Um, there was a bee's nest up here that I cannot figure out how to get, get it down or access the honey. Every time I've tried to go up there, I just get stung and I have to come back down. Let's just... I have not climbed all the way up to the top of this thing, so let's see if we can get past that beehive and see if there's anything else up there. So that was pretty scary. Um, I'm going to go back down now. I have not quite mastered how to jump with this thing. I'm going to take some water and some food and then I'm going to go see if I can evolve anything. Now we can do some new stuff. Perfect. So this is something I was super confused about with my first playthrough. 
uh, the ability to switch hands because you've got the uh, the key binding. It's in your you know settings and all of that. And I'm like, how do I swap hands? And it turns out you just needed to wait long enough to learn it. So there we go. This this now that I've done it once, I've got an idea, a better idea of what I needed to do to get to this point. So it's moving along much faster. Alright, it doesn't look like we can move to any of the other neuron spots, <clears throat> so now we can start making tools, which will be pretty, pretty cool. So again, it's very, very subtle, and especially with the rain going, there's a sound cue for everything like that, like with altering or any action that you're taking. So now I've made this thing into a stick, and I know for a fact that there's a place over here that I can turn some rocks over with, but actually I should probably eat a little something first and drink something. clear how much water you need to drink. There's no meter um, except for your end of daily report, so it's like, stand here and drink water forever. I don't really know um, what it is that he's unhappy about. So I guess I'll try to eat something real quick. I've gotten uh, food poisoning. That's okay. Well, I am going to sleep that off because it's a quite annoying um, graphical effect. It's making me feel a little motion sick. Since I don't know how to cure that yet, I'm just going to sleep that off and then go pick my rocks with the stick. Alright. See, there you get the regiment update. Looks like everything's pretty even, but that would be cool if you could pull that up. Maybe you can, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Oh, okay, I guess we can mate. Well, this is new, let's see what happens. Don't get to see? I guess the camera tastefully um, zooms out so they can do their business and then get back to it. But this is cool because I didn't get to see this last time, so hopefully I can continue to mate and evolve and have more babies for the clan. Oh, I forgot my stick. Oh. 
So over here are some rocks we can overturn. I'm already doing much better this walkthrough than I was the first time. I'd already managed to kill about three of my clan members off before this stage of the game happened, so I'm doing better this time around. I'm, I'm not sure why I can't lift this rock. Oh, I guess I had to discover that it was a stick. There we go. Again, a super, super small... Or it's not, it's not easy to hear the sound cue to lift it. And if you don't do it at the right time, your stick will break. And I know these mushrooms will make me sick if I eat them, but I do want to discover them for the neuron points. Well, okay, there we go. I was trying, was wondering why we had an altar um, screen come up there. Let's see if we can figure that out. I didn't hear a sound cue. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm gonna grab my stick and turn some more rocks over. What's going on with these um, trees with the sharp branches? But you can look at them and memorize them. But I haven't found any interaction with them as of yet, so if you've played this game and you know what's going on with these little thorny trees, let me know in a comment below. I 
guess there's no other way you can alter that. The menu keeps popping up, so I thought maybe there was something else you could do with it, but I guess not. Let's climb up there and see what we can find. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I didn't see this in my last run through. Curious if we can get those eggs without getting eaten by a bird. I don't see any bird around. Okay, I'm not sure how we are going to get rid of that, like, laceration or whatever that icon is. Looks like we've got some new neuron stuff to uh, evolve into, though, so that's cool. I don't think this was here last time I played, so you can um, switch hands while moving and drop an item while moving.
I hope I don't bleed to death from this debuff. I don't know what the deal is. I got pretty torn up though. I'm not sure what we could use here to help get myself feeling better. Okay, um... Well, I know that I can open up coconuts now, so let's go ahead and do that. And that way we'll both get a meal that won't kill us and um, the neuron for it. sure this one, this character I'm playing is going to die. I, I don't really have an idea of what to do to stop this thing from bleeding to death. But I'm glad I could give her one good last meal. Oh! 
I just don't see anything that we could use to stop bleeding. Try sleeping again, I don't know. Yeah, this this character's gonna die. So I'll leave her to it because I don't really feel like stressing out about how to uh, get her healthy again so she can just die. I don't really care at this point. I need to find another female to mate with. Seems like this one's hungry now, so we should probably open up another coconut. very clunky uh, system with this switching and dropping. Hopefully we can evolve to make it better. Alright, maybe if we try grooming this lady, she'll stop bleeding to death. I don't know what to do. It's stressing me out, though. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on, um, so she'll either live or she won't. I don't know what else to do for her. It's really hard to see. I don't know. I think that's a nail. Yep, I think she just died. Yep, she died.
Oh, that's horrible. Uh, makes me sad, but... I guess now we get to look at her decaying corpse for the next few hours. I don't really know. It's very, very sad. I don't know that we have any other females in our clan. That's not gonna be good. Let's call everybody over here and see if we can find another female to mate with. Okay, here comes everyone. I think, uh, hmm. Oh, this is a female. Get her over to the leaves and get it on. There we go. Awesome. Not sure why the male is the one giving birth, but uh, anyway, this is something new I've not seen before, so let's check it out. clan member and we had a birth for a new clan member so that is pretty neat. Let's see if we can evolve. Looks like we got lots of stuff we can learn. Okay, so now we can ask from a distance to get some clan members to come follow and come closer to you. Okay, looks like that's all we can learn. Oh, there's her skeleton. That is so sad. I feel terrible. It wasn't worth it to go up to that bird's nest and get an egg just to see what we could get from it. And she died. I feel so terrible. Oh. 
All right, let's um, let's go ahead and climb up there and see what we can do with this bee's nest. See if we can poke it with a stick. Because I didn't learn my lesson with the uh, bird's nest. I don't know how you get the bee beehive. Um, into, I don't know. Well, that's probably going to be a good stopping point for me for today. Um, I'm going to do the review and write-up for this, so keep an eye out on our Gaming Trend website for it. Uh, I will continue to play this game. Right now it's under an embargo, but once it goes live I'll probably stream it. It's, it's a pretty fun game. It's neat. I'm very curious to see what uh, you can evolve into and what you can do. I do know that when I started venturing out further into the forest, I really... I, I got killed quickly. There's snakes and there's boars and there's all kinds of tigers, all kinds of stuff ready to kill you. So I kind of want to just evolve my stuff a little bit more before I start venturing out too much further. So look for some more videos on this game if you liked it, um, streaming and whatnot. And as always, uh, like and subscribe to our Gaming Trend channel to stay up to date on all of the newest games that are coming out. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.